the development piece is the most important part of the turf, but I would think what is prevalent on turf is triples. I think uh, the ball gets to infielders quick, so there is the possibility of more double plays, although we haven't knocked on something rolled into many. Uh, but I think uh, the, the uh, ability to make ground plays and get on the ground and, and use the turf to get up and throw is a little bit easier and a little bit more comfortable for an infielder and an outfielder. But from an offensive perspective, I, I think the ball gets through the outfielders a little bit quicker. Now, I think that has more to do the, with the quickness of our turf than just the turf itself. To me, it plays a lot like... Uh, a Bermuda field has been cut very low. It, uh, it plays true. There's no mystery in the hops, but it's, it's quick. Tim, what are the challenges of playing well, uh, turf? You're speaking of some of the pluses here, but what are the challenges that it's presented? The challenges you're going to play, I mean, in which if you're going to play, you're going to play in some tough conditions, in conditions that you wouldn't necessarily play on the grass and dirt. So I think playing with a wet ball, being able to manipulate a wet ball and throw it accurately. Um, the ball coming off the bat skips quicker, so as an infielder or an outfielder, it gets on you a little bit quicker, so your hands have to be out in front of you. Um, Sliding-wise, we've, we've talked about this before, but there's a tendency to overslide the base, so you have to slide anywhere from 8 to 12 to 15 feet a little sooner. Defensively, there's more opportunities maybe to, to tag runners that might slide off the bag. Uh, and we're a team that has run a lot, so we may be exploited in that particular area because we're on the ground quite a bit. But we're getting used to it every day. And it's actually a huge change. you got to slide at least 10 feet earlier. If it's wet, you're sliding from probably almost 25 feet away from the bag. And something that we've learned, you know, if you're diving head first, you're accelerating once you hit the ground. So sliding feet first can be more effective, stopping yourself on the bag, making sure you're anchored. And defensively, it's helped us a lot. We've thrown you know, behind runners a couple times, and we've been able just to make a play based off of the other team sliding past the bag. So just having the knowledge of that. The, 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 the turf is still the big mystery, man. We never know. We can't really figure them out yet. But uh, if, if it rains, you got to start your slides about 20 feet, and then you'll, you'll eventually get to the bag. We found out if. You know, you slide on your back and you have to, you know, claw your hands down into the turf and then you slow down a little bit, your momentum down a little bit. That also helps, but as you can see, I still really haven't figured it out because I still slide past bags and sometimes I start too early and don't even get to the bag. So uh, it's, it's fun out there, but we're figuring it out.